Hello, today we will be covering the distribution Artix. It is an Arch based uh, Linux distribution, and this is its website. We have the art of Linux simple, fast, and system D free. They are branding themselves as simple, fast, and system D free. It's good to brand yourself like this because there are now hundreds of Arch based distros being produced by uh, anyone can do a arch based uh, distro so by telling that they are system d free they are getting away from the crowd and giving the user an option and this option is multiple init systems other than the system d if you go down here they say there is support for d init is now official so you have they have now they are working on making d init work also on artix if we look at the download they have the base download which is uh, the one that they use if you the same procedure of arch it's not uh, user friendly as the others and if you notice they have four systems Four init systems, OpenRC, Runit, S6, and Suit66. And by the coming of DINIT, there will be five alternatives to System D3, System to System D. So it's good. For this session, we I always focus on lightweight systems. So we'll get a look at LXDE with Runit, and we'll with LXQT also with Runit. So let's get started. So here we will start installation, we will put the new, we will call it Artix Linux and Arch, next to create, next, next, create, and we go with start, we check, add, Artix LXQT open choose start you look at the CD ISO so we are now in the live environment we click install next New York next next erase okay no swap you can encrypt if you want but we'll keep next I'll put Artix the password you need to put a strong password because Artix will not accept a it has finished so we click restart and we put done and make sure you remove the CD before restarting we are back with Artix XQT and this is the menu we don't have much they used the uh, one from KDE the text editor KWrite because it is uh, basically it is QT that's why they included it the file arch archiver and the famous PC Man FM is very lightweight and this is good looking also. We will continue with LX image, a simple image uh, viewer, screen grab, screenshot, the basics with the QT edition, and we have here Falcon. Falcon is a basic QT browser. I don't know why they included it because in a very bleeding edge system like uh, Arch based, I don't see the, any usefulness if you want to use video, uh, video, watch videos or flash. They are not present in Falcon. So we will be one forced to 
install either Firefox or Chromium or Chrome or Brave or any of the others that are available. But for a text-based or some uh, basic HTML file uh, f websites and forums, this one will will be fine. So that is Falcon. Let us continue with the office. They only have the PDF viewer, sound. There is MPV. System tools, Q terminal, it's a good terminal, and there is the preferences and the open box. The desktop preferences. If you want to change the wallpaper, let us see the wallpaper. There's not much. This uh, distribution reminds me of Fedora Spins LXQT because it, it also had minimal of everything of all the programs which has a good thing and a bad thing the good thing is that you can install whatever you want and the bad thing is for new users they, they are stuck with these programs and they don't know what to do so this is basically it here in, in the right click we can create a launcher let's say I want to create a launcher for for Falcon Falcon press OK so I have a shortcut and Falcon is installed it is running the other thing we let us check the terminal and we'll see how much RAM we have so we have around 300 megs which is not bad and if you want after the update we are running 5.15.12 which is one of the latest kernels that we are having so there is nothing much there is no graphical software installer there is no uh, notification uh, application to give us how we update or anything so they they give us this dull system which you can build upon and of course if you want to run Artix you should have some knowledge of many things before you get familiar with it the Pac-Man, the AUR how to install in the terminal some terminal knowledge all of this which is pres which is not present for the a new user let us go and check also the LXDE so we come back we are here in LXDE Artex LXDE as you notice I think the programs are much less than the other LXQT here we have the simple image viewer the leaf pad instead of K right the internet they have hex chat and epiphany I don't know about epiphany epiphany the same thing with Falcon for basic HTML it does well especially when you have the forums or the man page or anything else but for videos and watching some uh, flash content or any other uh, advanced HTML uh, files websites it doesn't work so we need to you need to install Firefox or the others this is for uh, the epiphany for office they have Atril document viewer instead of uh, QPDF the sound they have two alternatives the MPV and LX music the reason they put the music player is that you can use playlists MPV is for mostly for movies or and for music but uh, LX music will make them on into playlists I'm surprised they added Gparted in LXQT it's not included and there is the LX terminal 
and the task manager is LX task as you can see here we are using 218 megabytes of RAM if we look at the terminal it's the same 225 most of them are run it services there's the LX terminal and LX panel but it is much less than the LXQT if we right click here you have create empty file the same and in the desktop preferences in the advanced you can get this one show menus provided by window managers so when you right click now you have the open box menu but of course these are not correct you have to if you know open box you can customize it yourself and if you go want to go back to the previous one you go to here desktop preferences back here and you can unclick this one because you know LXDE and LXQT they use open box as their window manager so you can use them in general these two are basically similar LXDE and LXQT not much programs it gives you the freedom and simplicity to include your other programs if you are good at Linux if you have some knowledge this uh, system is fast it gives you all the software through the AUR and Pac-Man so you can install the, the, the latest software updates and it's Arch which is also a good uh, distribution in the end system D or non system D or any init system they don't really matter what suits you what you like what you enjoy either any init system you use or managing your processes it doesn't really matter in the end the thing that matters is the user how you like the the distribution is it stable is it fast is it does it suit you it gives you less frustration just pick it and Artix is one of the good distributions to pick so choose wisely thank you